Mercury road trip takes them to the city that never sleeps, the Big Apple. Hey, I know how I feel. I can hate losing, so let's get this done. Come on, come on, come on. Let's take care of this. Let's go, Mark three, one, two, three. Hey. Let me get this money, Pip. After practice, a fun tradition continues. We have a tradition before every game, uh, after the end of shoot around, that we do a half court shot and uh, the winner gets 50 bucks. And so, um, about half the time people have made it this year. Um, Lay has made about six of them, I think. So, uh, but today it was Sancho, so it was a, it was a good day. I get fueled up. Lily has like three of these before you. Okay, so look, in the last two games we haven't we know we haven't played at our best. And we haven't brought the energy, we haven't brought the effort. Okay, some of you have, some of you haven't. But to be the best we we need everybody. We need everybody playing at their best. The Mercury have lost their last two games and look to turn things around against a four-win New York Liberty. The leading scorer all time in the WNBA. She gets the first two points of the evening. The Mercury are relentless as they impose their will. One-hander from 10 feet away is good. They kick it out to Bonner. She will take the three and hit. Phoenix can't miss. They lead it 15 to 2. Griner leads the WNBA in blocks at more than three a game. She has two in the last 20 seconds. Tarazi already feeling it. You can tell she's in rhythm. She goes cross court. Bonner will take the three and hit another. 14 of 23 from downtown. And that'll put an end to this one as the Mercury use a 16-point advantage in the second quarter. Like that. I think everyone came in and played well. Uh, Diana, there's not much more I can say about you. Um, pretty good, mate, that's all I can say. Um, pretty amazing. So you're getting trapped and you still find the right people, so well done. That was a really, really great game there. You know, it helps when the team gets long off the court. Um, and I think we, we, for the most part, everyone does enjoy each other's company and it shows on the court too. Um, we have good chemistry, I think. Next stop, Indianapolis. Instead of hiring charters, WNBA teams must fly commercially. We get to fly commercially, we get to fly with uh, all different types of people, we get a lot of help. Our team is very self-sufficient, we all carry our own bags in. Each girl is in charge of pulling two bags in, and uh, we never get any complaints. They're, they're very good about it. I hate flying, so they help me out a lot. I get really nervous, like almost in tears when there's turbulence. Yeah, I, I, it gets worse and worse every year, it's just, yeah. BG makes sure to let everyone know who's boarding the plane first. Excuse me, A1. I think everybody knows your name is Brittany Brown. Brittany Brown. A1. Brittany Brown. A1. <laughs> Excuse me. me. We'll turn you in.
every city, it's the same routine. Grab your bags, board the bus, and then head to practice. If anything we had to learn from New York is we've got to do a better job of waiting for BG to get down low to give her the ball. Okay, against Indiana, nobody can stop her now, but we still want ball player movement in everything that we do. Obviously, everyone knows Marie's not here. She won't be with us until Atlanta. Uh, so she'll be back with her family. Bree, we're going to evaluate. We'll see. Tomorrow we'll decide if she can play or not. Um, if not, you know, that's why we have to rely on our depth. Mm. Bonnie will step up. Uh, we're going to work on maybe at times, um, you know, move it, go, put new guys at the three. Looking forward to Washington as well with their, uh, have Asia Taylor. Um, but, you know, Lay, Steph, Angel, you guys keep being ready. Okay, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be all numbers in. A lingering foot injury has come back to sideline beyond January. Okay, look, ladies, um, Bree's not going to play tonight. Okay, so Bonnie, Lay, Steph, Angel, you know, everyone, we're stepping up. We need everyone, okay? It's by committee. Another half court contest starts, and no one is a match <gasps> for the GOAT. Every basketball team in the world does a half court shot, and uh, right now I'm in a very stiff competition versus Le Leilani Mitchell. Um, we're tied 3 3. BG has no shot, Angel hasn't made one in two years. Um, lucky! DB never yeah. makes one. Not enough muscle in the bones. Sancho has no chance. Uh, so, me and Leilani, just, this is a competition, a rivalry that's uh, flourished in the last couple years, and uh, taking it serious now. Camille has absolutely no chance either. <laughs> Get out. To be continued. Damn! That was my closest one! <laughs> Few of the Mercury players have a connection with Indiana, but none as deep as Brian. I hope the fans are as excited as I am to be back, you know, and just feel the same way about me as I feel about them, and just that love and you know that and that family, that atmosphere that we've created over the years, and the fans played a huge part in our success, and I, I appreciate them still. So hopefully, they're happy to see me and remember the good times when I was here. <laughs> And unfortunately for Fever fans, they won't get the chance to give a congratulatory and a thank you applause to Breon January, who played in Indiana for her first nine seasons. The most prolific point guard in Fever history was such a vital part of the banners hanging at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. The Mercury starters set the tone early. Bonner knocks down an early three. Back underneath the Griner, underneath, and that's easy for Brittany Griner, who now has six. Backdoor pass to Bonner, who beat Vivian to the foul. Brittany Griner and Dewana Bonner combined for 35 points. And the bench takes advantage of more playing time as they contribute 24 points in the Mercury's crushing win over the Fever. Mitchell springs free. She's open from the corner, and Mitchell connects. Robinson rolling, drives the baseline, got it in a foul. Good ball movement, Talbot from the corner hits a three. And they beat the Fever by 18 on this night. It's the Mercury 95, the Fever 77, a final for Bankers Live Fieldhouse. The Mercury to 12 and five. We had to beat this team, okay? You had the right focus to do that. Okay, the beauty of it, we're on the road tomorrow. Oh, we only let's get it done. Nice hey, hey, we can beat Washington. Yes. yes. They are so beatable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get our rest and get this. Listen, enjoy this. Rest. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you. I'm watching all the other games, but we got these other two more times. Don't mess around, okay? Okay. Bye, Chris. 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 Bye, Ch